Hi Aquarius, this is your November 2017 love and relationship reading. And the first four cards that I have that your reading is focused on is karmic relationship, imprisonment or slavery, forgiveness, and lessons and blessings. Okay, so Aquarius, with this karmic relationship, for some of you out there, you are stuck to someone like glue, okay? You feel like there is no one else in this world for you but this one person. Now, we know that's not true, but this is just how you feel, okay? I don't care what this person has done or what this person does to you. You may be mad at them for a little bit, okay? I'm just going to tell it like it is. Um, this is just how I'm feeling. This is how I see it. No matter what they've done to you, you may be mad at them for a little bit, but you let them right back, okay? I'm just feeling like your family doesn't like this person. They see how they treat you. Your friends don't care for this person, your partner, because they see how this partner treats you. But yet and still, you, you ignore everyone. You're like, no, me and this person is going to be together, and that's it. You don't care about nobody else. And I'm just feeling like some of you have options, but you don't even care about your options because this relationship that you're in is karmic. It's also toxic, okay? Because this person has learned that they can treat you however they want or they can do whatever they want. And you may be mad at them for a little bit, but you're going to take them right back, okay? Imprisonment or slavery. This is how you feel in this relationship. Now, we know that you're not in prison. And we know that you're not a slave for this person, for this partner. But that's how you feel because you can't say no to this person. You can't, um, you know, not be around them. And you're feeling like, you know, you're trapped. You're stuck to this one person. But it's like you want to be. This is not somewhere that you don't want to be. You want to be with this person. You just want them to act right. And I'm just feeling like they're not acting right. But yet and still, you won't leave them. And you don't plan on leaving them. The next card that I have is forgiveness, okay? I'm just feeling like Aquarius, you do a lot of this, okay? You do a lot of forgiving this person time after time after time. And I'm feeling like you're forgiving them for something that they're continuously doing. It's like they may tell you they're not going to do it anymore, whether it's cheating, whether it's lying, whether it's um, something as simple as, are you coming over tonight? And they're like, yeah, but then they don't even show up. And what you do, you forgive them. And it's crazy because you're feeling like, why do it? Like you beat your, I'm feeling like for some of you, not for all of you, because this won't be every Aquarius message, but I'm feeling like for some of you, you beat yourself up over this person because you don't even understand why you can't tell this person no, why you can't stand your ground with this person. And all you do is forgive them for things that they do constantly. The next card that I have is lessons and blessings, okay? There is a lesson that you must learn before you get the blessing that you're supposed to have, Aquarius, okay? But your time is coming. You see this clock up here, okay? It's up here for a reason because your time is coming. And you know what? I was feeling like with this card, even though you feel like you don't want to leave this person alone, I just feel like it's going to come a time that you are going to learn a lesson out of all of this with this partner of yours. And you're going to break up with this person or you're going to leave this person or you're just going to stop caring. I'm just feeling like the time is not now though. It's not now. I don't even see it in the cards. All the cards that I pulled for you guys for November 2017, for some of you, I don't see you leaving this person. Okay. I even see that someone may have walked away from some of you but they're coming back and you're going to let them okay you're going to forgive them so your lesson and your blessings they go hand in hand it's like as soon as you learn your lesson with this person with this toxic situation you'll get the blessing that you want in your life you'll get the person that you need the person that you're praying for this partner to be Okay, because they may not want to be committed. They may not want to stay with you. But I'm just feeling like you're going to get that from, um, you know, someone else. I, I don't know. I'm just not feeling that you're going to get it from this person um, that you're with that just keep doing you wrong. And then you have to always forgive them. Okay, so let me just sit these cards up here. That was a lot. <sighs> okay.
okay? But there was a message. I'm feeling like it was someone's message, so I had to relay it. Okay, so let's just get into your reading. Aquarius, the first card that I have for you is the Five of Pentacles. Let me just fix my lighting because that was kind of crazy. It was too much light. Okay, first card that I have for you is the Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. So I'm just feeling like some of you, your partner walked away from you and they left you out in the cold. Okay, or that's how you're feeling. That this partner just walked away from you, act like they don't want to be with you anymore. You haven't done anything to them, but they just decided they don't want to be bothered anymore. Okay, and some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. The next card that I have is a judgment card. Second chance is somebody's coming back. Okay, this is a major arcana. So for some of you Aquarius, if someone walked away, left you out in the cold, but they'll be back. And you're going to accept them. You're going to let them back. I'm just feeling like this is a pattern. This is what this person does. This person walks away from you and they continue to do whatever it is they want to do. And then when they're done, they come back. Next card that I have is a three of cups. Okay, I'm feeling like this was a party that you were not invited to. Third party situation. Okay. The next card that I have is the broken heart card. So I'm feeling like these two cards go hand in hand because they fell out of the deck together. Okay, so whatever this third party situation is, this three of cups, some of you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Okay, and then you have the three of swords over here, the broken heart card. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, such as yourself. Okay, but whatever it is, I'm just feeling like this person, your partner, continues to break your heart. Okay, but you still feel like one day they're going to get themselves together um, and you guys are going to be together and whoever it is that they're cheating with doesn't mean anything. I'm just feeling like this is what some of you have in your in your mind. The next card that I have is a tower card. So something happened, some truth came to light for some of you and I'm just feeling like this is where this broken heart is coming from and this three of cups. So some of you may have found out that somebody was cheating or was, had a third party situation going on, okay? Tower card, truth coming to the light. Something unexpected, some shocking news was delivered. The next card that I have is the Six of Pentacles. So I'm just feeling like some of you are extremely heartbroken because you were doing way too much, okay? And your partner wasn't doing anything. They wasn't doing anything to hold this relationship together. You were doing everything. The next card that I have is the Two of Cups in reverse. Okay, so it's like you wanted a happy, committed relationship with this person, but whoever this is, this card is in reverse. Like, I'm just feeling like, you know, this person is not ready to be committed. This is why you guys can't have this happy relationship because it's not that they don't love you. I feel like they do care for you, but they're just not ready to be committed to one person. They're not ready to settle down. The next card that I have is a nine of swords. So this is how this person makes you feel. Okay, you're losing sleep. You don't eat. You stay up all night just thinking, okay? And I'm just feeling like by the time you get to sleep, for some of you, it's time to get up. And you're like, this is, this is a completed, I'm sorry, this is a completed pattern um, that you continuously go through with this person, okay? It's like you, you, you just think about them all day long and the hurt that they put you through. The next card that I have is a two of swords, confusion, okay? Not knowing which way to move with this situation. And then you have the, the slither of moon up there, which symbolizes deception. So you feel it. You feel that this person is not being true to you, or they may be dealing with someone on the side, or they may be lying about their whereabouts, okay? When you get can't get in contact with them, wherever they say they are, they're not. The next card that I have is the moon card, okay? Illusion. So this person is not who you thought they once were, okay? So you thought some good things about them once upon a time, and now you're starting to see that, you know, this is not that, per like, this, this is not them, okay? All they do is lie, and you can't even get them to tell you the truth about their whereabouts. Like, I'm just feeling like for some of you, you don't even know where this person is half the time. And then when you call them and you um, communicate with them, it's like, where were you? And they were like, oh, I was here, I was there. No, you're, you know, you're lying. And I'm just feeling like this is what some of you go through constantly with this person. But yet, and still, you want to be with them. The next card that I have is the Empress in Reverse, okay? Major Arcana. So I'm just feeling like maybe someone was pregnant. Maybe um, you want to be pregnant. Maybe you want to start a family with this person, but it's in the reverse, 
okay so that's a signal right now that this is something that maybe you should not be doing because this person is not ready for commitment they're not ready for a family next card that i have the ten of pentacles okay the family card in reverse okay the next card that i have is the six of cups so i'm just feeling like whoever you're dealing with aquarius for some of you they may be dealing with someone from their past Okay, and they keep bringing this person forward, okay, into the situation with you guys. So this is why this third party situation I'm feeling like is going on here because whoever they were dealing with in the past, they can't leave this person alone. But the next card that I have is the world card in reverse. So that tells me that the cycle between you guys are, is not complete. Okay, so this person will be coming back. The next card that I have is a nine of pentacles. So my suggestion for you, Aquarius, would be is to think about you. Think about what makes you happy because I'm just feeling like you haven't done that in a long time. Okay. You've been putting all of your focus on this relationship, Aquarius, with this partner. And if this is not you feeling this way, Aquarius, your partner may be cross watching and they may be feeling this way about you. Okay. But this nine of pentacles is telling you don't forget to make yourself happy. Next card that I have is the King of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? This person just cares about themselves. I'm, caring, I'm feeling like they don't even care what you feel. They're very manipulative and they're very narcissistic when it comes to this relationship. All they care about is them. Next card that I have is the Ten of Swords, feeling betrayed, feeling stabbed in the back. And this is how you feel about this partner. And the next card that I have is the Eight of Swords. So it's like you don't even get like where you guys, like sometime you're sitting back and you're thinking like, what the heck are we doing? Because if they're cheating on me and we don't have a relationship, then what are we doing? Why am I just sitting around waiting for this person to get themselves together when I can be with whoever I want to be with? But I'm just feeling like for some of you, you're just waiting on this person to get themselves together i don't know like some of you could be dealing with an air sign such as yourself a libra a gemini or another aquarius the next card that i have is the six of swords in reverse so you're not going to be moving away from this person even though the situation is very turbulent the next card that i have is a two of wands waiting Okay, so you're going to be waiting on this person. You're waiting on them to come back. You're waiting on them to get themselves together. You're just waiting. Okay, so I have Oracle messages from Doreen's Virtue. Okay, and the first card that I have, I'm sorry about that. The first card that I have is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I'm just feeling like this partner of yours, Aquarius, has issues. Okay, you're trying to help them through their issues, but I'm feeling like it's way beyond you. I'm feeling like they need professional help, okay? And they're bringing you down because you're thinking the issue was you, but they had these issues way before they came into this relationship, okay? Next card that I have is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, and I'm feeling like this is what this person does all the time. They walk out and they come back when they get ready. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Yeah, see, for some of you, like, I'm just feeling like, this, where is it at? I had the Empress card here, okay? Um, and if you look at this deception card, you see the baby up here in the back. I'm just feeling like somebody got somebody pregnant. I don't know where, I'm, I'm just feeling, that was the message that I was getting. It won't be a message for every Aquarius, but I'm feeling like somebody got somebody pregnant, okay? And this is why they walked away. And you may not even know yet, or you may know, okay? The next card that I has have is release your ex and this is in the reverse the time has come to clear your energy but i'm just feeling like some of you are not going to release your ex okay because they're going to come back because you got the reconciliation card here and you have the judgment card okay second chances so you're going to continue to let this person come back and you're going to continue to give them second chances until you learn a lesson okay and once you learn that lesson aquarius that's when your blessings is going to come in okay like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. I just want to say thank you to everyone who ordered a private reading from me. Thank you for coming to my channel and watching my videos. And I will see you next time. Bye.